going on guys, Eli or the Craft Gang here, and today I will be showing you guys how to use my plugin that I've been working on for the past week or so, and this plugin is a hub plugin, and basically it adds special things that you can set to happen when the player joins, leaves, and other awesome setup commands that will make your server much more awesome. And I'm planning to update this about twice a week, once or twice a week, so this plugin is definitely not going to be inactive. Alright, so basically there's not much you can do in-game, but there are two commands. So those commands are a set spawn and a spawn command. So if I type slash set spawn, as you can see it's going to say the hub or spawn has been set. I need to either change the command or the message to match that. Um, but if I go ahead and leave it away and then type slash spawn, as you can see, I am teleported here. Um, so yeah, those are the actually the only commands, but there is a lot you can do in the configs. So if I go ahead and open up the config file, as you can see, there's a lot. So basic setup, um, you can change the no permission message for any command. So if I said this to hello and I de opt myself and type game mode one, then it would send me what is in this blank right here. And yeah, the um, next thing is the chat no permission message. And basically, um, I should mention this before I get into too, many, too much other stuff, but all of this stuff will, or not all of it, uh, most of this stuff will only work if the player, if the hub, like, world is set to the, is called world. And I did this because a lot of servers don't have multiple, uh, like, server connections, and so they want this one plugin to only work on their hub world, or, yeah, so that's why I did that. And so this also uh, does that for stop block break and stopping block placement. So if I go ahead and de-out myself, I'm not going to demonstrate all of this uh, because there is a lot of stuff. But as you can see, there's no permission. And I can also change this message down here with the stop block place message. Hello. So if I save, reload, and go ahead and wait and place a block, it says hello. So that is the stopping block placing and destroying. And that, once again, only works in the world world. No weather. Uh, this does work in all worlds. Um, but basically, it stops weather from changing. And yeah, that's pretty basic. And chat enabled. Uh, if I go ahead and were to, I guess I'm already deoped. But basically, if you set this to false, players must have the permission chat.hub to be able to talk. If I go ahead and reload and say hi, it says you don't have permission to chat in the hub. And once again, you can change this. Uh, I think I said this before. But right here, so nah, you can't talk. <laughs> okay, save, reload, and as you can see, nah, you can't talk. And I will be adding color options later, but I just wanted to get that out there for the messages, and I want to release the plugin, and then uh, I will have a lot to do when I update it. Um, so yeah, the next thing is PvP. This also only works in the world world. Um, I can't really demonstrate that right now, but uh, for the fact that there's nobody else on the server. Uh, but player is damageable. I set this to false, so as you can see, if I jump, no damage taken. I do hear the false sound noise, not the like ugh sound, but I hear the slamming of me hitting the blocks, but there's no damage taken. Um, stop item drop. If I set this to true, the players are going to need the permission item drop dot hub to be able to drop items, and as you can see. I was hitting Q then, and if I click off, it's going to go out of my inventory, but as you can see, nothing is dropped, and if I reconnect, it's back in my inventory. So I'm not really dropping it, it's an issue with Bucket, um, and yeah. So once again, here is some uh, stuff that happens when players join. I think I've talked about this in the beginning, but um, when player joins, player join message, if I set this to false, it will not show a single thing when I join the server. And as you can see, nothing in chat. So there's no player join message if you set this to false. Fill health, true, simply because uh, it's meant for a hub world, so if the players are somehow damaged in the hub and they log back in, then their health will be full. Clear XP, this basically, uh, if you set this to true, it will clear their XP when they join the game, pretty simple. Uh, but that I need to set that so it only works in the world world. I think when I, when I release it, uh, that will be the case. Disable hunger, if you set this to true, it's going to give them saturation for a very long time. And I'm going to make it so when they leave the world, world, it's going to remove all the potion effects. So, 
that is one thing that I need to add for sure. Uh, join game mode, uh, you basically set this to either adventure, survival, or creative, and you literally type the text out. And then player join of potion effects. This is basically the, you can give the player any potion effect when they join the server. As you can see, there is literally every potion effect in the whole entire game there. <laughs> and yeah, so when a player quits, you can clear their armor and their inventory. I will be adding more later, for sure. And then player quit potion effects, pretty much when they leave the game, it will remove any of these potion effects that has the word true, where it says false. Um, and then these permissions are just for reference, but as you can see, chat.hub, of course, without the uh, quotation marks for players being able to chat. If uh, the chat is set to false, uh, break blocks, block break.hub, teleport to spawn is spawn.hub, and uh, set spawn is setup.hub. So yeah, this is my plugin, custom hub. If you do enjoy it and you think that you would be willing to use it, you can download it on the Spigot page. Uh, this is a Spigot premium resource. I'm not sure about the price yet because I haven't released it yet and I'm still it's still in uh, sort of alpha and I definitely need to add more features before I release it. But I hope you guys will download it and find this useful and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.